Right, Fender Jagstang. It's got the tremolo set normal. Doesn't really stay in tune if you're gigging with it, it's no good. If you drop tune or whatever. So, I'm going to make this a hard tail. I've done one before, so I'll do it again. Alright, first of all, I'm going to take this bridge off. All this. So I'll leave my screws over set there. Snips and the machine screw set. And I use these ones. That one's there. Right, I'll just start taking it apart. Wait a sec. I've undone all the screws now. Pulled the bridge out. That's it. You just un unscrew these now. Try to do it one handed. So. That's out. Give us a cigar bit there. Take the strings out of this now, what's left of them. And unhook these springs from this bit. Should be easy done. So you just just like a. If I can do it one-handed, you should be able to do it. See, just like that. So I'll take the strings out of this because I can't do that one-handed. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, what you want to do is get the old one like that. Take it to B and Q or some hardware shop, and find the right size. I found these in the garage, lucky enough, and they look like they're the right size. So I've got a clue what size they are, but you can either go on the website so somebody will have one on somewhere, or just take that to B and Q or Home Base or some type of hardware shop and buy ones like that, but short. So that's all you need. A Allen key or screw, anything like that. And uh, I'll show you how to do that now. Try to get this to stand on its own. There's a cigar bit and the plate. What you want to do is. Let's where that go. That goes that way. So. Where the trem would have been goes on the opposite side now because it's been flipped over. And you get the screw, drop it in there, and into there. It'll be one as well. So there's no springs, no washers, nothing. It's just straight to metal to metal. Now, once these are tightened, I got half and key. Oh, get an Allen key. So, like an Allen key bit on my screwdriver. Just tighten these up. Now this shouldn't move, it's solid as it can be. So I'll reinstall that. See, it's reinstalled now. So I'll put some screws in. I got a couple there. The heads aren't that good on them, they're a bit worn out. So I'm not going to put the bad ones in, and I'll get a replacement one in due time. There's the bad ones. That's good. That's the bad one. I'll put these screws in now, like so. You should know how to do this, you've already taken a part. So I'll tighten these up now. 
I got the trim system back in, but it's a non trim system now, so that doesn't move. And now I'm going to install the bridge. There's tape around mine, because if you notice, they rock like hell. You don't need to rock because it's going to be a hardtail. So put enough tape in so it's tight, and it'll just drop in nicely like that. And that doesn't move now. So when I reinstall the strings, it'll be a hardtail. That's all you do. And just stay in tune and you can drop tune or whatever in the middle of tracks and you know when you're gigging in between songs you can drop it down to D and you won't have to keep restring uh, tuning or rest of the strings just for just the E string. Hope that helps.